Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel where I turn the world of real estate and finance into an exciting adventure. I'm Andromeda, your friendly neighborhood real estate agent. And today we're diving deep into the beautiful town of Prescott, Arizona. So I was feeling a bit adventurous and I thought, why not put on my detective hat and go on an internet search spree? I wanted to see what results popped up when you searched the top employers in Prescott. Let's look at the internet and see what they have to say and then I'll tell you if I think that's true or not. So I pulled out a website that's 50 biggest companies to work for out here in Prescott, Arizona. Number one, Wells Fargo. I disagree. I wouldn't say they're like a big employer also, like not in Prescott. Let's see, number two, Walmart. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Walmart's a big employer, uh, Prescott and Prescott Valley. So in Prescott, we've got two Walmarts, one over by Gail Gardner, and then the other is over by 69. See, the Prescott, it, Prescott mind of me is like, oh, it's over by uh, In-N-Out in the, Toyo in the um, dealership, but 69, Highway 69. So two Walmarts, and yeah, they're a big employer. Number three, yeah, Target. I agree with that. They are a big employer out here. Um, so yeah. That's a, that, I agree with that one. Number four, Lowe's. I'll agree with that one. They're a pretty big employer. Yeah, I'll agree with that one. That's a good one. Number five, Starbucks. Okay, I could see that. Let's see, the next one on the list, we've got Best Buy. Mm, I disagree. <laughs> uh, there's... A, a lot of people that work there, but I wouldn't say they're a top employer. So no, I disagree with that one. McDonald's, I agree with that one. They're a big employer out here. Uh, you know, it's McDonald's. It's kind of easy to get into. There's one, two, three McDonald's chains in Prescott alone. So that tells you like, yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty steady and stable. CenturyLink, okay. I wouldn't say, well, maybe they could make the list of top 50. Um, so yeah, we'll leave that one alone. New York Life, no, disagree. I would not say they're a big employer out here. Let's see, United Airlines, nope, disagree. Uh, uh, I don't even know the name of this one. It's a retailer. It was, uh, see, I don't even know it. So that tells you like, no. That's not a big employer. And the name is Sodokex, Sodexio. I don't know. I'm going to have to look up that one. And I'm going to have to look that up and see how to pronounce that. Okay, okay JCPenney, uh, maybe back in the day. <laughs> no, they're not a big employer. Um, the mall is just like, it's sad. It's just, you know what? It's just like what e-commerce has done in general to brick and mortar stores and retail stores. So no, I disagree. JCPenney, not a big employer. Costco, I agree with that one. They are a big employer. And from what I hear, they're very, very good to work for, but they're very hard to get into and work for them. So it's competitive to get a job at Costco. MetLife, uh, I disagree with that one. Moving on. Sherwin-Williams, uh, no, I disagree. I wouldn't say they're a big top employer, no. DaVita, mm, maybe, I don't know. I kind of disagree with that one, but no, I wouldn't say like a lot of people that I know are like, oh yeah, I work at DaVita, I work at DaVita, so no. Staples, no, disagree. Like it's always empty in there when I go, again, <laughs> e-commerce. Um, maybe they get a lot of like online business and retail stuff, but I wouldn't say they're like a big employer out here in Prescott. Safeway, I'll agree with that one. They are a big employer out in Prescott. They've got two groceries, two Safeway grocery stores out here. Or so yeah. Um, Dollar General. Uh, no, I disagree with that. Like, yeah, people work there, but I don't know a lot of people that work there. You know, to me, like if somebody's like, oh, yeah, I know like 10 or 20 people that work at Dollar General, then I'd say they're a big employer. But that's not the case for Dollar General. Bed Bath & Beyond? Uh, no, <laughs> sadly, they're going out of business. So they're definitely not a top employer. AutoZone? Mm, 
No, I know a few people that work there, but I wouldn't say they're a top employer. Dish Network. Uh, no, I disagree with that one. Guild Mortgage, disagree. Aetna, disagree. CMEX, which is um, a cement company out here. They hire people and people work there, but I wouldn't say they're a top 50 for sure. Walmart again. So again, yeah, okay. General Electric, uh, disagree. Dollar Tree, disagree. U-Haul, well, uh, I don't know. They're on the fence for me with that one. Because I know a few people that work there, but again, I don't know like a, a handful of people that work there. So yeah, they employ quite a few people, but I wouldn't say they're like a top always hiring company out here in Prescott. Let's see, uh, computer systems design company, Krenner. I don't even know what that is, honestly. So I'm going to have to say no, I disagree with that one. PetSmart, uh, disagree. Not a lot of people work at PetSmart. Um, not because it's a terrible place to work or whatever. It's just not a lot of people work there. <laughs> it always looks empty, sadly. Again, a lot of that, I think, is because of e-commerce. GameStop, disagree. Dillard's, oh no, I disagree with that one for sure. Dillard's is in the mall, and the mall is like just so dead, so empty. And Dillard's in this Prescott Mall has actually reduced their hours. So they're opening, they're only open certain times during the day. So, like, what does that tell you? Like, no, I agree. Disagree. I disagree. Pizza Hut, disagree. O'Reilly, disagree. Uh, big Lots, no, they're not a big employer. Foot Locker, I don't even know if we still have a Foot Locker out here at the mall, honestly. So, man, it's been, you can tell, it's been a long time since I've been at the mall. Office Max, disagree. Oh my good. Okay, Victoria's Secret, I disagree. They don't even have a store out here anymore. So they're closed and shut down. Disagree with that one. Albertsons disagree. There's no Albertsons out here. Uh, let's see. American Red Cross. No. Bath and Body Works. Um, I'd have to say they're not a top employer. Quite a few people work there, but they're not a top employer. They're not like always hiring. Seasonal is a different story, but that's with any retail store. Like they're always going to be hiring seasonal workers. And then after that, it's kind of like, do you still have a job? Do you not? So no, I disagree with that one. ADT, disagree. Domino's, no. no. Olive Garden, well, I guess we could give that one to them. Olive Garden does employ quite a few people and... From what I hear, they're hiring quite frequently or consistently. They're hiring consistently. So Taco Bell, um, I'd have to, I don't know with that one. That one, I, I can't, hmm, that's a tough one because they are, all, they are always hiring and like looking and actively like recruiting. So I guess Petco, uh, disagree with that one. Texas Roadhouse. Okay, I'll give that one to them. So you'll see quite a uh, you'll see a lot of younger people working there, like high school and just like younger teens and twenties and things like that. I like that about them that they are there with open arms to try and like train and give the younger generation like a head start or like a, their foot. They're giving the younger generation an opportunity to get their foot in the door. Yeah, I know some of you are going to be like, oh, well, that's food, but. I don't know. Some of other restaurants, it's harder to get into. So I really respect that about Texas Roadhouse. Red Lobster, um, that's number 50. Red Lobster, okay, I'll agree with that one. They're a top employer. A lot of people work at Red Lobster. Uh, they have a lot of seasonal hiring that they do. And then after the season's over, um, a lot of people stay. So So that's it. If I agree or disagree with those top 50, I have another video that talks about 
employment here in Prescott um, in case you're looking for a job or you know you want to move and you kind of want to figure out like what you're going to do when you get out here if you're not going to work remote. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.